And Ukraine has endured six months of war now with no end in sight. So today, Ukrainian Americans gathered at Golden Gate Park this afternoon to celebrate not just their culture, but also their Independence Day. KPX 5's Don Lin was there. Ukraine marked its 31st Independence Day this past Wednesday, but there were no celebrations in that country over concerns of missile attacks on large crowds. So here in the Bay Area, Ukrainians and allies gather to celebrate its culture and history. Ukrainian colors, dances, and music fill the Golden Gate Park band shell. Among the hundreds of people here to celebrate is Yulia Losko from Kyiv, Ukraine's capital to learn new techniques and come back to Ukraine just because we need doctors. Yulia just came to the U.S. and started her medical residency at Stanford University. We'll be back to Ukraine to start treating people with all these new methods that are already available here, but unfortunately not available in Ukraine right now. She feels grateful and proud to celebrate their biggest holiday, Independence Day, thousands of miles away from home. Ukraine really needs the support from all the world, and we are really grateful to everybody. Most of the performers have families in Ukraine, like singer Anichka. She says it's important that supporters overseas help them preserve their culture as they fight for their existence. Russia doesn't know, doesn't want even Ukrainian exist. So we have to raise our voices. We have to uh, talk about the uh, people freedom. We are celebrating for them here uh, to express our solidarity with them. While this is the 23rd year the Ukrainian American Coordinating Council has partnered with the Golden Gate Park Band to organize the free concert, this year's celebration takes on a new meaning. Since I cannot be there, I'm going to give it all my best, you know, like look at that again, goosebumps, because I will be pushing through. I have a torn ACL and a, a, a messed up meniscus, but I'm going to still push through for my warriors because they don't have the option to sit down. They got to keep fighting, and so I'm going to do the same. They say the fact that they can't celebrate Independence Day in their own country speaks to how fragile freedom can be. We would like to have peace. This cannot go any other way but victory for Ukraine. In San Francisco, Slava Ukraini. I'm Don Len, KPIX 5.